Donald Trump and his fellow Republicans have made immigration a centerpiece of their campaigns this election season. They love to say that migrants are at fault for all of our problems in America. And they especially enjoy highlighting high profile cases in which a migrant was involved in a crime. And that happened to be the case last year when an 11 year old boy was tragically killed in Ohio when a car driven by a Haitian migrant swerved into oncoming traffic and caused the bus he was riding in to flip over. And now the father of that boy who was sadly killed is speaking out and he's got a message for Donald Trump and JD Vance that's getting a lot of attention. Wait until you see what he said. Kamala Harris performed brilliantly in her debate versus Donald Trump. But it was some strange comments from Donald Trump about immigration that have got a lot of people talking. Listen to this. We have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. So this must have been a shock to a lot of people in America who don't live on the internet and haven't heard about this story. Donald Trump repeated baseless claims about migrants in Springfield, Ohio, eating people's pets. And where do these baseless claims come from? Of course, our friends on the right have made up this nonsense and people like JD Vance have amplified the story even though there's no evidence and the local police say there's no reports of anything like this happening. It all started with a Facebook post in a private group that's from a friend's neighbor's daughter's account of something that transpired. Here's what was written on Facebook. Warning to all about our beloved pets and those around us. My neighbor informed me that her daughter's friend had lost her cat. She checked pages, kennels, asked around, etc. One day she came home from work. As soon as she stepped out of her car, looked towards a neighbor's house where Haitians live and saw her cat hanging from a branch like you do a deer for butchering and they were carving it up to eat. I've been told they are doing this to dogs. They have been doing it at Snyder Park with the ducks and geese, as I was told that last bit by rangers and police. Please keep a close eye on these animals. So again, there are no police reports of anything like this happening. The local police have spoken out and said they've seen nothing like this, and yet people are claiming it's happening. But it's just an attempt to attack these migrants. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the... the people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. Kamala Harris's face at the end of that clip is just priceless. That's how everybody in America felt watching him say this nonsense. But it's not just crazy made up stories about migrants eating people's pets. Donald Trump's War Room account on Twitter, which has 2 million followers, highlighted a story where a migrant driver caused an accident that led to the death of an 11 year old boy in Ohio. The Trump War Room account posted the following. Remember, 11-year-old Aiden Clark was killed on his way to school by a Haitian migrant that Kamala Harris let into the country in Springfield, Ohio. Kamala Harris has refused to say Aiden's name. This is really a sad story. A Haitian immigrant was driving his car when it veered into oncoming traffic. That caused a school bus to quickly turn out of the way and it flipped over and this 11-year-old boy was thrown from the bus and killed. Horrific. It turns out that this guy behind the wheel was an unlicensed driver, though he wasn't drunk, he wasn't on drugs, it just appears to be a tragic accident. And he was sentenced to prison for nine years or so for involuntary manslaughter, and he'll have to deal with that for the rest of his life. And sadly, this family is broken because of his actions. That being said, Republicans like Donald Trump are using incidents like this to paint with a broad brush and label migrants as the source of all our problems and troublemakers. And now the father of the boy who was killed is speaking out. 
and he wants the world to know that he's sick of these Republicans using his family's tragedy as a political talking point. Using Aiden as a political tool is, to say the least, reprehensible for any political purpose. And speaking of morally bankrupt, politicians, Bernie Moreno, Chip Roy, J.D. Vance, and Donald Trump, they have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. They can vomit all the hate they want about illegal immigrants, the border crisis, and even untrue claims about fluffy pets being ravaged and eaten by community members. However, they are not allowed, nor have they ever been allowed to mention Aiden Clark from Springfield, Ohio. I will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies. To clear the air, my son, Aiden Clark, was not murdered. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. This tragedy is felt all over this community, the state, and even the nation. But don't spin this towards hate. In order to live like Aiden, you need to accept everyone. Choose to shine, make the difference, lead the way, and be the inspiration. What many people in this community and state or, and nation are doing is the opposite of what you should be doing. Sure, we have our problems here in Springfield and in the U.S., but does Aiden Clark have anything to do with that? Sadly, he also said he wished his son had been killed by a 60-year-old white man so that the family wouldn't have been caught up in all of this hate-spewing nonsense from the right. It takes a lot of courage to stand up there and tell Donald Trump to stop using your dead son's name for his political purposes because it's just going to bring more harassment on this guy and his family. But we are less than 60 days away from the election. Hopefully we can get Kamala Harris into that White House and begin to end this MAGA nightmare that has enveloped our country for way too long. Shame on people like Donald Trump and J.D. Vance for using tragedies like this to move their political agenda forward. And it's disgusting how they manipulate the facts of the case as well, claiming this Haitian migrant killed this 11-year-old boy as if he meant to remove him from the earth. I mean, it was an accident. Even the father says so, so we should respect that. That being said, hopefully we can move past this nasty era in American politics by handing Donald Trump a huge defeat on November 5th.